It's picture day, and you wake up to find a massive pimple on your nose. I mean, you don't understand. You did your 10-step skincare regimen the night before, and you even listened to a YouTuber who said toothpaste dries out pimples. What caused this Rudolph the red nose pimple? Acne vulgaris is an inflammation disease affecting the skin filicibaceous unit. When excess is made, pores collect dead skin cells and oils attracting bacterium such as propion bacterium acnes or P. acnes, is a gram-positive bacterium that lives on the surface of the skin. This bacterial lipase, which produces fatty acid wax, feeds off sebum. So key factors are P. acnes perfiliation, excess sebum, and excess keratin. This occurs when hair follicles produce excess keratin, and they trap skin cells in the dermis layer, creating comedones. One defeats such a fierce enemy by combination therapy of an antibiotic plus strong agent. Q, clindamycin, and benzoyl peroxide. These two are tag team partners with an MO against P. acnes, team antimicrobial. The match starts with clindamycin entering the ring. It's responsible for destroying acne formation. So this antibiotic inhibits the production of P. acnes by binding to the 50S ribosomal subunits and inhibiting the peptidyl transferase protein synthesis. This way we paralyze P. acnes from producing any more fatty acids for the reducing skin tissue damage and inflammation. Clindamycin tags in benzoyl peroxide because alone, P. acnes gains resistance and clindamycin will lose its effectiveness to inhibit growth. So benzoyl is a crucial partner ensuring treatment efficacy so P. acnes doesn't win. Benzoyl peroxide now enters the ring with the role of destroying the bacteria by releasing a free radical oxygen to oxidize P. acnes polypeptides. It then performs the finishing move, discriminative keratolytic when skin cells dry and shed to the point of no return.